Today's video is about pyelonephritis, okay, a kidney infection with a lot of inflammation. It affects adults and it affects children. We're going to talk about some complementary treatments, some complementary therapies that you should use, some natural ones that have really have shown benefit. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back from one kidney disease sufferer to another. This is my passion. This is what I love. This is what I do. So if you're new, check out all our other videos. We have so many good things that can help you. Today's topic and video is all about pyelonephritis. So pyelonephritis is a kidney infection. It generally comes from the bladder and the urethra and it works its way up into the kidneys. The problem is this infection creates a lot of inflammation, which can lead to scarring, which damages your kidney. And then you end up with chronic kidney disease. You've lost kidney function and now you have to deal with that. So we're going to talk about how to protect yourself from this happening. If you do get pyelonephritis, how to prevent uh, prevent that kidney damage. So first of all, you know, you get your proper diagnosis. You know what's going on. Take the antibiotics. Okay. You want to take them. Okay. You want to kill that bacterial infection. So you take the antibiotics. Now, in addition, we have about four nutrients that you can take. And these nutrients have a lot of research for helping prevent the scarring and symptoms. I'm going to go through just some of it quickly, highlighting some of the research, some of the articles, and I'll talk about each of those nutrients and how much you should take. So just going through a few journal articles here. Uh, February 2013, Pediatric Nephrology Journal, the effect of vitamin E or vitamin A on the prevention of renal scarring in children with acute pyelonephritis. Okay, it had a very positive effect. I'll just read you uh, the conclusions. Vitamin A or E supplements were effective uh, in reducing renal scarring secondary to acute pyelonephritis. Uh, the Iran Journal of Kidney Disease, March 2015, vitamin E is an adjuvant treatment for urinary tract infections uh, in girls with acute pyelonephritis. So showed that uh, helped a lot of the signs and symptoms um, until it cleared up. Protective effects of omega-3 supplementation against uh, renal scarring in children with acute pyelonephritis. Results of a pilot clinical trial, that's the uh, current Pediatric Review Journal, 2022. So they all showed positive benefits. Okay, probiotic prophylaxis and prophylaxis in pyelonephritis infants with normal urinary tract. So that showed benefit also. So we have four really good nutrients you should take, focusing on these three: vitamin E, vitamin A, and omega-3. Those are the ones that are to really help the scarring, and it can help the symptoms, the signs. Uh, but we're really looking to prevent that scarring because we don't want any kidney damage. Pyelonephritis can happen in some people over and over, so this would really be good to use each time it happens. Vitamin A, okay, we're looking at four to 800 IUs or between uh, 10 and 20 micrograms, okay, once to twice a day. Um, in children, you want to use a lower dose, use like 400 IUs. In adults, use a higher amount, 800 IUs. Vitamin A, they sell pills between 5,000 and 25,000 IU. So look to pick up one of those pills, use one pill a day. Omega-3, super important, really help with the scarring. We have a lot of other videos that talk about omega-3 and what you're looking for when you purchase an omega-3 because they're not all created equal. You want that omega-3 with that high EPA, it's a certain therapeutic property in omega-3s. You can find it on the back label. You want that to be at least a thousand milligrams of EPA, which really helps the scarring in children. It could be less, but you want to use these and you can try probiotics, at least 25 billion as a prophylaxis. I did read another article that said it didn't really work Okay, for pyelonephritis, didn't help the signs, symptoms, uh, maybe a small benefit, but it seemed prophylactically it would help. So if that's happening, recurring in your child or yourself over and over, something you can try. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, pyelonephritis, make sure to take at least three of those nutrients to really prevent any kidney damage. Take a look at all of our other videos. Thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health.